We are going to start today's adventure at Greensburg. And I think that helps us to get a sense of how Middletown uh, is located with reference to something most people know. And we're looking at Greensburg. And you see over on this side, off the bypass, 136 takes off. That's the road to West Newton. Okay, maybe we'll come down here a little bit closer. We're following 136, right out here to almost out to uh, the high school, Hemfield, Hemfield area high school. And right out here by the bus garage, a road takes off, a road that's called Middletown Road. And we'll once more go in a little bit closer. And we go down, follow it down under the uh, Amos Hutchison bypass. That's for 66. And we've made it the whole way to Middletown. Not exactly a huge and booming place. And we go down on it just a little bit more. And we get this little guy and bring him down. And we set him right here. And there we are. That's Middletown. You see the road going out to, uh, that goes out to Youngwood that way. That's the road going north up to uh, Greensburg. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you a map from 1867 that will give you a sense of what was there then. And we'll be able to relate what is here now to what was there then. Okay. We are now looking at mapping from 1867. Uh, we can see Middletown very much as it was originally laid out. And what I do is I flip this about 90 degrees. And I think this simply makes it easier for us to uh, look at and understand. This, this is the north arrow, our north orientation. Right outside of town was a church. We'll just get a picture of that eventually. But this is the this is the town as it was uh, originally conceived and laid out. This house right here is one of the ones that showed up in the uh, in the video that we were seeing at the beginning. And what we're going to do is get a better look at this one where Mr. Baker lived. That's the house to the northern part of the little town. It looks very much like this part back here was added on. The position of the chimney gives that indication. Uh, one of the things to look at is the foundation. The foundations of most of the older buildings in Middletown were... Uh, made of these big heavy stones which suggests there was a quarry around not too far away. Now here is Hemfield Township. Down here is Middletown. And if you see its position relative to what's around it, you get the impression it was more or less in the middle of things, or to put it facetiously, out in the middle of nowhere. This is 1939, uh, showing the town of Middletown right here. The earliest 
The significant history of the uh, county done by George Dallas Albert has exactly one sentence on Middletown, speaking of it as a place surrounded by rich and fertile land. And what you see around it is or are farms, a lot of farms, farmland. And one of the reasons it was not a terribly big place because it was a place in the middle of a lot of farming and there were some people who uh, wanted to come in and have a town to where they could buy things and transact business. But most people lived out on their farm. Now this is the same image which I have worked on a bit. This is 1939. And you see, if you look hard, you can see which which Houses or buildings are still there from the earlier mapping from 1867. I've simply worked on this a little bit to point out what's left. This is Baker's house that we just saw a couple frames ago. Mensch's place is still here in 1939, but when we see a contemporary shot, we'll realize that's, that's gone. This is still here, this is still here, this is still here, and this is still here. The hotel that was down here is gone by 1939. A house that was here is gone. And the school, which we'll see a picture of, is present by 1939. Actually, it was present by about 1912. That one is what we see right here. A guy named Osterweiss had these two places, this one and this one. He will see this one next. This belonged to a fellow named Osterweiss. And maybe somebody can tell me why in a town this small, there was a guy who was dealing in clocks and watches. Maybe people considered time very important then, I don't know. And diagonally across the street was this place, which definitely did not look like this in 1867. This place has been altered, but what you can see is the cut stone foundation, which indicates the fact that the origin of the place is still there. Out here has been added, the back part has been added, I suspect there was a second story. Uh, the stonework amazes me. But what we can see is that there was a good, a good uh, stonemason around. And we'll be shifting to the uh, next part. As we continue our adventure going out to explore Middletown, we see it was a place surrounded by a bunch of farms. This mapping is probably from around 1912. This is Middletown over here. And what we can see is at least two of the people in Middletown had significant land holdings right around there. John Fox had the hotel in town. He owned this property over here and this, this good sized chunk of land over here. Another guy named Mensch M-E-N-S-C-H, had this property down here. And as we look at the town, a bit more specifically, we can see where these guys lived. Fox had his house here. He had his hotel over here. Incidentally, that hotel is gone now. Mensch had his house up here in town. And that house, too, is a thing of the past. That's the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse sat right over here. It doesn't show up in this older map because it wasn't there yet. And now we're gonna see something down here. This was a store that Mr. Vote had. One of the nicer old houses. This was a really a good looking place. 
back in the days when the Hattan was flourishing, Vote ran a store in this building. I'm not sure when the addition was put on. But right across the street from the building was the hotel. This is another shot of the building showing the, uh, the, the upstairs window that was once there. Gave evidence of some nice construction. And the foundation again, this, these good healthy foundation stones. This is the house we were just looking at right there. Down here across the road used to be the hotel, which is now gone. That was Mr. Fox's hotel. Fox had a house right here. Out here, just north of town, was a church. I believe it was listed as an EU B or Evangelical United Brethren Church, and it sits right beside the cemetery. This is the town itself, giving evidence that it still sits the way it was laid out. And I have these five buildings outlined in red to indicate these are things that were here back in the 1800s and are still here. Even though a few things have been removed, Mensch's place has been removed, this house here has been removed, the schoolhouse has been rebuilt, been built actually. There was an older house here that's now gone. And the hotel down the road is gone. And I think we've done enough. And so we say so long to Middletown.